Tonight, Columbus City Council approved more money for a program named after Casey Goodson Jr., who was shot and killed by a Franklin County Sheriff's deputy more than three years ago. The program reflects a goal that Goodson had. It's part of council's budget that passed tonight and goes into effect as soon as Mayor Ginther signs it. The Casey Goodson Jr. CDL program focuses on workforce development. NBC4's Isabel Cleary shows us how. This program is both honoring Casey Goodson Jr. and filling a need in Central Ohio for more CDL drivers. Now $200,000 is going to help people not only get a job, but start a career. This funding will cover the costs of tuition and hard and soft skills training for aspiring drivers. And this program means a lot for those individuals that have been out of work or have been working sporadically in various other trades or fields that just wasn't landing for them. Impact Community Action is part of the program. It takes money to make money, um, and this is kind of one of those opportunities. It takes a lot of money, but the payoff and the reward is um, astronomical. It's a way to set people up to get jobs and honor Goodson. Council member Shayla Favor says she was able to get to know Goodson's family after his death, and they said he was a CDL driver who was excited to pursue his dream. I wanted to do something to make sure that his life was not going to be memorialized by just the last moments um, that we have all come to know or that he would not be reduced down to just a hashtag in our community. You want to do something that keeps the momentum um, and the legacy of him alive, but also give opportunities to people that have passions or dreams um, as it relates to um, getting into CDO driving. 24 people have graduated from the program as a whole. Councilmember Favor says this is a way to improve someone's life and meet the economic need. The economic case being that we are still short uh, CDL drivers in our community. We felt the impact of that uh, with the shortage of CODA bus drivers, school bus drivers, um, and, and just trucking truck drivers just in general. This program just had a graduation last week. Councilwoman Favor says she's heard many transformative stories come out of this program, including two people from one family going through this to improve their lives. Local for you at City Hall, I'm Isabel Cleary, NBC4. The budget passed by City Council tonight is about $1.2 billion. Roughly two-thirds of that money goes to public safety, including millions of dollars invested in mental health response teams. A large portion is also invested in cleaning up the city. Money's going toward beautification programs and preventing illegal dumping. And now that the budget has passed City Council's, we said it heads to Mayor Ginther's desk for his signature.